Warning, do not attempt these processes at home. Chemical handling should only be done in a controlled and professional environment. Hello my friends, welcome back to Peachy Plants channel. Here I have some deep IC chips got from the TV boards. And as you observe, majority of those are from the Flips company and uh, I'm going to process these for the output yield uh, I got this with the broken piece of PCB underneath this is exactly the way I got this uh, I need to remove them first to weight them accurately to see how much material we got here but the total weight of IC chips considering the uh, weight of PCB underneath is uh, about one kilogram. I've already removed some of these PCBs. It came off easily and you can see the copper is uh, still uh, intact. Now I'm going to do the same process for these. First we need to remove PCB from the IC chip. Here I've got the solution used for leaching solder or tin out of the components. I'm going to use this and add them to the jar to start processing the solder. And I need to add other IC chips to this jar. The solder will be removed and the components will come off of the PCBs easily after leaching solder. The reaction already been started and it's gonna take about 15 minutes to leach the solder out and left the IC chips and copper underneath behind and uh, this way the tin from the components is recoverable After 15 minutes, it's time to pour off solution and decant components. Other leaching been done and they are ready to come off the PCB from the IC chips and as you observe the copper still is in the place Look at the clean and neat copper on the PCB.
components remove in just a few minutes and uh, as you can see here is the clean copper legs which not been affected from the leaching solution and here is the useless PCBs also on the PCBs you can see the copper still is in the place now this is the time to wait this out to see how much a starting material we got about 700 grams of materials IC chips obtained from the raw material with PCBs and now they are ready to be incinerated and processed for the gold